Promised Land State Park in Pennsylvania. Uh, we actually have reservations. So we just checked in. We're here for the next few days. I think we got some pizza in our future. We may hang out here for a week. We're just going to chill. In the promised land. And the weather is gorgeous. The sun's out. It's warm, but not too warm. I actually have a long sleeve on. There's two lakes. We can rent paddle boats, canoes, kayaks. There's lots of trails. For this little one. There's a nice bike route. Yeah. Lots to do here. Good girl. In the promised land. Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to it. Who knew the promised land was in Pennsylvania? Not I. Oh, I got a buckle. fitness time just got out of the gym what happened to the park the campground well we got there and then we went for a boat ride check this out <laughs> Driving us to the promised land, baby. Go! Go! I think we got a storm blowing in. Yeah, it was us. It's looking pretty wicked. Real faster. <laughs> Just made it back to the van. We've been off the boat for three minutes. Yeah. Just missed it. crazy downpour um so we drove out this morning went to the gym we're headed to get groceries still a bit cloudy but i'm hoping the rain holds off it's cleared up a bit because tonight is pizza night i think we can cook it under our awning though in the oven sure it's warm yeah it is warm and then i actually have um a bread i want to make a sweet bread Sweet bread. Okay. Starbucks just released their pumpkin spice latte a month early. How do I know this? I just know this. Um, I haven't got one, but I know this. So I figured I can make a pumpkin chocolate chip loaf, can't I? It's not too early for that. I mean, the weather has changed a bit, so I'm feeling kind of fallish. Pumpkin chocolate chip loaf. So we're going to do that in the oven and then pizza? I don't know. We'll see. We're at this campground a few days, so we can pace ourselves. But I'm, I'm going to make a calzone. What? But really, that's just... Your mind is racing this morning. I'm not even keeping up with you. because I had to go work out. I have all these endorphins. <laughs> it's your pre-workout. <laughs> You're buzzing. Uh, okay, let's get groceries, get pizza stuff. How many Planet Fitnesses... And how many states have we been in, do you think? Is there any way that we should have tracked that? I would have liked to keep track. Yeah. And I'm the guest, because she has a 
membership that I'm the guest. So I have to like bring in my ID every time I go to a new gym. Yeah. Do a lot of things, get my picture taken, then I never go there again. But listen, it's only $20 a month for us both to go to any Planet Fitness around the country, which I think is a heck of a deal compared to some of the other gyms. So, let's go get pizza stuff. Speaking of calories. Yeah, yeah. We gotta replace what we burned, <laughs> right? We're not trying to make progress. <laughs> We're earning what we eat. Yeah. They are ready. Now, I only think three will fit in the oven, so I'm actually gonna experiment and cook one in the Instant Pot and see how that turns out. We can do them all in there. Oh, we can? Oh. I guess we're fitting all four in there. That oven's bigger than I thought. Those are adorable. 30 minutes. Time starts now. <laughs> Chop. <laughs> uh, Branding in the kitchen. I love it. Perfect day for chocolate chip pumpkin bread. Now it's gotta be time. It smells like it's time. Ooh, wow. Yeah. I think maybe a couple of these are going in the freezer. Right. Let's bust into one of these bad boys. Oh. Now I cut the sugar by a lot, so. Wow, that smells crazy town. Oh my god. Oh, it's steaming up the camera. <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't know if it's a wine thing. I think it's more of a coffee thing. It's definitely a wine thing. It is? And it, it depends on time of day. Oh, okay. It should be a great coffee thing in the morning. <laughs> okay. Got it. Oh. I'm not oh, mm. Hmm? Mm. I'm glad you cut the sugar down. Mm-hmm. I'm also glad we went to the gym today. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is so moist. Mm. That's ridiculous. So I think tomorrow, um, the weather's supposed to clear. I think we need a redo on that boat ride. I wasn't really, that rowboat was a little funky monkey. Yeah, the weather wasn't good. Tomorrow's supposed to be sunny, but I'd rather do a canoe. Yeah. And I want to do the, 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 the paddle, <clears throat> the rowboat was on the big lake, which is the promised land lake. Mm-hmm. And we're camped real close to the lower lake in the same park. And it's kind of quiet and I think there's more wildlife and probably some um, birds and stuff. So I think maybe we run a canoe mm -hmm. and just kind of paddle around. We could take these and some coffee. That's what I was thinking. If we can find a place to pull over and make coffee. Well, I can just pre-make coffee and take our Yeti mug. There you go. Yeah. Wow. You gotta freeze a couple of these. I can't I'm going eat all to. Of well, I could eat all of them. That is insanely good. But I have the dough for the pizza coming to room temp, so we're gonna be pizza and it up our There's two behemoth calzones going in the oven. Speaking of carbs, <laughs> this is a new one. This is, yeah, we've not done this. How do I get them in there? Yeah, that's a good question. Mm. Not like that, I guess. Oh, they fit. Sweet. I, I made them just the right size. <laughs> it's calzone. Oh, they're done. Ooh. Wow. I can get them out of here. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner is, is served. served. 
Where is it? Okay, there's a lot of dough on the end. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. A lot of extra dough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, baby? Can't get the other one. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> So yours has beef and cheese, and mine has a lot of other things. Mine has olives, it has venison, summer sausage, it has mushrooms, cheese, and sun-dried tomato pesto. The, dough's, the crust is good. That's very good. Calzone in the camp oven. So we actually checked on renting a canoe today and the place we want to go, um, they only rent it 24 hours at a time for $75. So probably not going to rent a canoe this go around. But we came back to camp and we are making got the, tacos. Got the flat pack grill out, haven't used it for a while. Yeah. And look what's going on after the tacos are done. Fresh peaches. I'm really excited about that. I even have some ice cream. That's gonna be dessert. Living large. Living large. No restaurant in the world can make food taste like this. Well, I'm sure there are, but it's just different. It tastes better outside. And well, you're just doing it yourself. And definitely. I'm excited. Here they go. this it does not get better than this it doesn't now i didn't put any sugar on the peaches they're just straight up mm. peaches mm. good calling them cons mm -hmm. next time i would actually candy the pecans with that maple syrup we got in new york Getting a little overboard there, woman. No, I would do candy. In <laughs> fact, I think a little drizzle of that maple syrup over this would be... I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's just one little drizzle I think is going to be bam. Now I'll tell you. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that is so good. Just super fresh peaches, you know? Mm -hmm. The flavor of that. It's incredible. What do we got going on over here? It's mineral oil time. I've been busy. Dave's been busy. Whoops. Uh oh. The breeze is blowing. We had a rainstorm last night and then we had to switch spots because the spot we were in was taken. This is like the third spot we've been in. So uh, we keep- It's easy to move in a van. It is. You put the lawn chairs Whoa. in, you put them- Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave has been carving up a storm. I want to see what you got going on over here. And some of these are going to be on our website. This is the apple wood that we got at that Freedom Run winery, right? Yeah, that was a big challenge. It was a knotty, twisted, gnarly piece of apple wood. And that is so... Probably my last Freedom Spoon, unless we ever go back to that winery. 
And this was also. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is a nice scoop. I That's like it. It's a one tablespoon ish. Yeah. And then Irene said, hey, make something bigger. So I made like a quarter cup. I love it. I really love it. And I love the handle. It's got a nice grip. I could just picture scooping flour out with this. I mean, if I had more room, I want a full set. And I love, I love the little nuances of the wood, you know, all the markings. Yeah. So those, all my spoons, there's, um, they're just axed out with a, a hatchet and then all finished with a knife, no sandpaper. But these, these are the, my favorite um, cooking utensil. Oh, they're my favorite too. Yeah, and these I get some quarter inch wood and then I use a, a wood plane and I shape them. And then I sand them down to a thousand grit. Then I burnish them to make them hard and smooth. Then I use mineral oil. But they're just like for, you know, sauteing, scraping, whatever you want to do, flipping eggs or burgers or pie. What, they're just such a versatile. I always grab mine. You made simple me simple tool. Yeah. So um, I just finished these two up. And this is this maple. Is, this, no. No. This, this is walnut. I meant walnut. Sorry. And this is curly maple. Yeah. And I use I use on the spoons. I use hemp oil because it it hardens, so it's good for dry scooping stuff. Um, and then for you know the bigger cooking tools like this, I use mineral oil because I just like how it feels. Oil it up. I want to see these pop. I always love to see him oil because there's always such a huge difference putting that oil on. Look at that walnut just shine through there. These are the curly maple is it's a it's a almost like a slightly different cooking tool because it's very very um, rigid mm -hmm. for you know whereas the walnut is a lot more flexible. But this depends on what uh, mood you're in, I guess. Wow, I love how that maple just. It's as tiger stripes. Yeah, and it'll as it um, as the mineral oil, oil um, dries. It doesn't mineral oil doesn't ever dry, but it soaks in, and then it's um, it, it actually will make these um, grains. You can already see them getting darker just as, as time. Mm -hmm. Just just watch it just get darker. It's very cool. So yeah. <clears throat> So some of these will go on the website for sale, and some of them have already been uh, given away. So. Yep. So our website is carryonvagabond.com, and also Dave has an Instagram account just for his carving, and it's carry carving. Uh, so if you want to check out and keep up with him over there, uh, I love these. I love everything. You just love everything. I do. I love you. So tomorrow we are going to head out of here, head out of the promised land, and <laughs> Live in the promised hit a Planet Fitness. I think we're staying the night in Cracker Barrel, and then the next day we're going to be at Georgia's shop. So we got next work video to do. you see, we will be elbow deep into the van build. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited. I'm really, really, really excited. <laughs> we'll catch y'all down at the shop. Carry on. Carry on.